Hello, this is a little demo of my Prussianelli accordion which was for sale. It's 120 basses, uh, four voice musette tuned, um, Italian made. Um, I've had it since nearly new and I've kept it well and it's in lovely condition and it plays really well. Um, it has internal microphones inside um, so you can connect it to a PA system and, and generally everything is in very good working order and I'm just going to show you what it sounds like. So it's starting with the master coupler, we've got this uh, convenient little uh, lever on the side which pulls in the master coupler and it sounds like this. <laughs> So that's just the three sets of reeds all at uh, normal uh, standard pitch. It's worth noting that I've had that tuned a little bit drier than average, which means that the distuned reeds are slightly close together. I think it makes it uh, somewhat less offensive than some accordions. It's a nice mellow sound. Um, so then we have the Celeste coupler, which is just two reeds. Right, next up, this one is just called accordion. So you've got two reeds at normal pitch and the uh, bass or soon reed in as well. has the, so that one is called stand accordion, it's got the flat reed at normal pitch plus the bass reed. <laughs> then we've got uh, the bandonium coupler which is the two in tune reeds, normal pitch and, and bass. So finally, the single reeds, so the clarinet reed, um, sounds something like this. Quite nice for uh, gentle, uh, soulful things and um, what have you. <laughs> Soon read the bass read. Um, in, I'll show you uh, the whole range of this because you get quite interesting sounds in different ends. So here's the middle. But right up the top, um, it's give, you get quite a nice mellow sound. Um, it sounds quite different from the um, clarinet read. So. And it's really quite responsive down the bottom. A lot of um, bass reeds uh, are not very responsive, and this is quite good. It just shows off the uh, the quality of the reeds. Um. <laughs> Also worth noting that the single reeds actually uh, sing out quite well. I was using the master coupler on the bass side alongside them and I think they balance, balance quite well. So finally looking at the bass, um, so far I've been using the master coupler to, to demonstrate uh, with the right hand. Um, down the bottom here we've got a, a couple of different uh, combinations uh, of, sort of lighter reeds but at the bass here end. one and then there's this one. 
Then up the top, I've got uh, the higher reeds. And here's another one. So, finally, a little word about uh, technical things. I can show you these straps. These are very nearly new and nice and well padded, um, uh, very, very lovely straps. And the uh, wrist strap is also in very nice condition and, and nicely well padded. Um, and a word about the microphones. There's a a jack socket just here. Uh, it's a stereo jack so that uh, you've got the left and right hand sides uh, mic mic'd up independently. Um, and then you've got volume controls here as well for the two halves independently if you want to control it from the instrument. Um, but the stereo jack gives you all the control on the mixing desk um, so don't really entirely need to use those unless you want to. The crystal microphones, which are very, very high impedance. So um, if you just plug it straight into the desk, it'll work, but it'll sound a little bit shrill. And what you really need to do is uh, use some kind of DI box that has high impedance to low impedance matching, treat it a bit like a, an electric guitar or something like that, and then you get a much nicer mellow sound. <laughs>